um, called Vitalis Ayara from Yenga Pool Farming. Today we are going to learn about stem borers. How the stem borers can spoil our crops and plants. First, what we are going to, to say is that how does it come? Stem borers come from an insect called a moth. A moth is in a, is in the stage whereby it can come somewhere and lay some eggs. <coughs> when it lays some eggs, it takes them some time to hatch. After the eggs have hatched, it produces something called the larvas. The larval stage of that moth, that is where the insect is very, very, very much dangerous. And that is where it destroys the plants so much. That is where, when it consumes a lot of plants. First it lays eggs, and then after hatching, uh, it comes at larval stage. And this is when the insect is so dangerous, you see? When it attacks the plants, it destroy the whole plants and after that uh, it comes to the another stage the, the third stage after egg we come to level then we go to pupil stage this is the time when the insect is at a rest where it matures it is becoming mature. You see how it comes? Now it cannot eat. And this is almost the full moth. The one, yeah, the one jumping, jumping right now. Yeah. It has given us the egg. It has laid the egg here. We have seen the larval stage. Now it reaches the pupil stage where it is at a rest. It doesn't consume so much. And after this, it becomes again the full, complete life circle called, it has gone under complete metamorphosis. It always attacks the plant when the plant is almost uh, producing. This maize plant cannot produce anything for human consumption. And it is completely destroyed. And that can tell us that it is the most dangerous insect or parasite to our plants. Now we have come to another idea whereby we can force it out or we can do away with these stem borers. Here is where we come with this idea of push-pull farming, whereby we plant the napier grass around the field, measuring at least, uh, uh, like this one is measuring about 15 by 20 meters. Coming to the second level, we leave the path, as you can see. Here the path is going all around the field. Then we come and another plant, which we call the desmodium. This is the Desmodium plant, whereby it will react as a repellent to this moth who has spoiled, who is a spoiler to most of our crops. Now, coming to that, you can see, now this, this piece of plot has got a very good yield due to lack of stem borers. When it comes, it will fall on the maize plant, and this repellent desmodium will produce a certain smell, which will push it away, and it will learn on the napier, whereby there is a sticky moisture on the napier, and that is where 
it will fall, lay its eggs, and instead of the eggs to hatch and become uh, lovers there, <laughs> they die. And that one, the males will be out free of stem borers. And that is how we are making our crop production to come higher. You see how they come? First, the egg is laid somewhere hidden like this or beneath the leaf. And then when it hatches, it becomes like, like, like this one you see. Now, as you see them moving like this, they are eating and spoiling the leaf of this plant. And this is where the plant is making its own food. Yes. It makes from the sun and then some from the soil. After spoiling the leaf like this, you know the plant cannot make enough food now for its growth. Therefore, it is becoming so dangerous for a, such like a, a, an insect to be left on the plant. Oh. When we come back, we can see from the stem of this maize plant how it damages this stem. Come on and look. Here it is. It makes a hole here and then it consumes the enough soft part whereby the plant is getting its own food with from the soil. And that will not make this plant to grow well. It will spoil the cells of the plants and make it become useless for its cons consumptions. Then it will die the way it is without producing any food for our consumption. Now this is what we call a bot. This is the final stage of the stem borer. First we, f we found that it lays its eggs under the under the, the, the leaves, it becomes a lava and spoil the soil because people at arrest and spoil even some of the stems and after that it becomes a moth. This is the complete circle. That is whereby now if we plant the desmodium, the desmodium is becoming a repellent whereby it will bring, when it comes to, to the plant, uh, it smells desmodium, which will push it and attract it with the one of the napier. Coming to the napier here, it will land on the napier. And after landing on the napier, while it lays its head there, the, the, there is a, some mu, mu, mucus from which are being produced by the napier grass. And that will uh, stack the eggs and will not allow the eggs to be hatched. And that will clear the life circle of the moth. And that is how the life will end. Now, Sikilisaji, we have come to an end. We are almost coming to an end of our lesson. <coughs> and we have found that the peaceful technology have given us the easiest way to do away with stem borers while we use the desmodium and the, the napier. Therefore, now our plants are well secured and that is where we shall get our food in the right way. Yeah, I would like to ask a question. Yes. You have shown us three stages. Yes. <coughs> three stages of a moth. A moth comes from egg, pupa, to lava, a lava to, uh, it goes back to, to, mm. to, 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 to the, the, the the, the mother or, 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 or the father, adult. Yani an adult. So, the, the, uh, at which stage or at what point, when is this thing or when is this insect very dangerous? Okay, it is not the three stages of life circle, it is four stages of life circle. Yeah, Number stage. one, yes. egg. Yes. Two, larval stage. Three, pupil stage for the adults yes. and that is where the life completes 
First, when the egg hatches, it produces lavas. And the lavas, that is what I was trying to show you, when they were here, they are very dangerous. They are eating, consuming the plants. That is how, when they, are, they need a lot of food. And that is when they are so dangerous. And after that is when they come and spoil the stem of the plant, like this one I show you here. Yani finding its way to get in and have a rest there, waiting for its time to mature so that it becomes a, 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 a full, a complete insect. So it is so dangerous at the level stage. Right. But uh, the Napier is what we are, what, what the technology is fighting for is to terminate the life cycle of this, uh, of the moth. Yes. Yeah. So it is being terminated at the, Napier. at the Napier stage. When yes. it now lays its eggs on the Napier, yeah. yes. it's where the life is terminated. Yeah. Yeah.